Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, coming at you with a few updates on the vehicles here. Um, got a few parts in um, for the Camaro. Also got a new radiator in for the Evo. Um, I went ahead and tore the Evo apart here. Uh, let's see. Put my hood prop up. Okay. As you can see, got the old radiator out. Uh, yeah, nothing. Pretty simple. You got a bolt here, a bolt here. You pull those up. Um, the intercooler piping. Had to unhook it here. Unbolt it from there. Uh, this little elbow piece comes out. And then I unhooked it from down there. Um, and just wiggled the whole thing straight out the fan and air hole. Um, so yeah, that actually come out really nice and easy. Uh, getting ready to get the old, the new one put back in. Okay, as you can see, there's the new radiator. I've got the stock fan in place. Uh, everything bolted up pretty good. I had to kind of waller out those little bottom holes a little bit more uh, to get the perfect fit, but it actually fits very nicely. Uh, it's a dual pass radiator, I believe. Um, really nice quality the name brand on it was emusa i just bought it off ebay for like a 100 bucks uh it does beat the stock one which is known to separate in this area which is what mine was doing right there and leaking really badly uh so i picked that up like i said it was around 100 bucks really good buy um so i'm getting ready to toss that in that um Next parts, picked up these flanges um, for my exhaust manifolds on the Camaro. Um, I didn't have a set. These will bolt, you will have the two and a half inch pipe here. These will bolt to the exhaust manifold. Um, and then I'll finish running the rest of my pipe for the hot side. Um, purchased this T6 flange kit. Uh, it's the fabricator's kit from uh, Monkey Fabrication Garage. Monkey Fab. Um, Pretty nice stuff there. Might have to sandwich that a little bit more and uh, tack weld it, but give you guys an idea. It'll sit inside like that, and then we'll just weld that up. Uh, also, got a few more parts coming in. Got some wastegates ordered. They'll be coming in from VS Racing as well. And um, that should be about it. All right, guys, we just got the new radiator in, filled it up with some coolant. Uh, we're finishing bleeding the system. Uh, there it is. I'm, I was cleaning off my engine base some too. So, um, yeah, radiator fit absolutely perfect. The dowels lined up great with the upper support as well as the lower support. Um, stock fan lined up good. This bolt did not line up. Uh, I'll probably drill through right here and just line me up a regular bolt rather than like just a threaded one. Um, but other than that, this radiator really does really well. Um, I've got my hose running down there. I'm just spread off. I had a little bit of fluid left on the driveway. I'm just cleaning it off. So um, everything fit good. We're going to start it up, bleed the system, and uh, see how it did. But yeah, very pleased with this install. Nice, cheap uh, radiator that hopefully will do the trick. Okay, guys, so here we are. It's running. Uh, not overheating, got the coolant system bled good. Everything seems to do great, and uh, who doesn't like nice, shiny, cheap parts, right? Um, I guess we'll see how long this radiator lasts, and uh, you know, if it if it goes south, I'm not looking to buy a little bit better one. Otherwise, uh, we'll just run this one, see how long she'll last. 